I'm Bryce Tomlinson from AHeartToWitness.com, and this is Mind Power. We're adding a USB flash drive to the front of this computer where the floppy drive is. I have used the screws supplied with it to fasten it in where the second floppy drive goes. On this particular model of case, this whole business will slide right out. This is an Antec case and with that little lever it just unlocks. And this is the USB cable that is coming out of the back of the uh, flash drive that uh, will plug into the motherboard somewhere but you need to have this adapter that comes with it to plug it into the motherboard. The complication that we have here today is that yes we have this jumper but we have no place to put it. I decided for some reason to add this um, dongle, this USB dongle that came with the motherboard to add two more ports to the back of the computer. I'm going to take that out of there because that's actually occupying the only two remaining uh, USB ports on the internal side. And um, I'm not actually even using these two external USB ports for anything. So um, this applies to any card. Now in order to get into here, I'm also going to have to remove my uh, network card here from the computer just to get inside there and then uh, we're going to zoom in real close and, and, and apply these pins where they need to go. So uh, first thing we're going to do is gonna remove this screw that's holding this and unscrew this part right here for the network card. So now very carefully take the card and lift it straight up and out of there. Computers generally go together like Legos, so you really can't put it in the wrong way. If it doesn't fit in there, then you don't need to be putting it in there. So we're gonna just pull that straight up out of there. Real carefully lift it straight up off the pins. And you'll see that there's nine pins here nine pins there. That's keyed so that it can only go on in one direction. That's the beauty of building computers. Most of the stuff can only go on one way. Now, the trick is to figure out which wire goes on to which pin. The red pins were toward the back of the computer, right? So now we have red, white, green, and black. We have that on both sides. There's two USB ports here. and. Um, each one takes up four of these pins. So red, white, green, and black, remember that. On this cable here, we have, red is uh, gonna be the orange, we have white, green, and blue is gonna be one for black. Note that this thing actually says black, green, and red, and white, which it doesn't have black, green, red, and white. So uh, we're just going to assume, which is uh, never a safe thing to do, that this is red, the orange is red, green, white, and black. So we have red, white, green, black. Remember that. Try and string this in such a way where it's not going to interfere and then afterward we'll tie all this stuff down because it's kind of a big, hairy mess back here. So we start with red. Drop that on that first pin. Can we get in there and see that?
got white. Try and point it straight down. Right onto that next pin. You gotta somehow get them where they're really straight in your pliers, or else you can't get them quite right on the pin that you want to get them on. There we go. Now we got red, white, green. There we go. Now we got red, white, green, and black. All in a row. And actually, see all this metal? That's kind of crazy. Live metal flopping around inside where all these contacts are. Um, some of you may have electric tape. I can't seem to find mine. So I'm just going to use some regular clear tape. Um, Some people may say that this will cause some kind of static or whatever, but I've never had a problem. And uh, I know this is real, you know, this is real ghetto, but uh, trust me, it'll, it may save your computer. Plus, it'll kind of help hold these two things together case it gets uh, moved around or bumped or anything. And then we're going to put our card back in here. Slide that back in there. Make sure everything's perfectly lined back up again. Pop it right back down into where it goes. This hole should be pretty well lined up. Now I've got a magnetic screwdriver. Some of you might not have a magnetic screwdriver. So you want to hold on to that screw real tight. If it drops down into here, it can land on something and short it out. So you want to be real careful about where that screw's gone. Because I've actually had it land on that battery down in there. And it uh, messed up my BIOS. So uh, be real careful with where that screw ends up. Now remember we moved that uh, we removed that uh, USB card thing out of there. So now we've got an empty slot and we kind of want to cover that up. So we use the same screw that we took out of the USB card thing. Put that back in there. Cover that up. 